Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Karen from SciFiVision.com. Nice to meet you guys. Hey, Karen. Um, yeah. Hey. Um, we only have a short time, uh, so I have a question maybe for each of you. And I wanted to start um, with Erica talking a bit about Jeannie. Um, in the season premiere, a year's gone by. Things are going great for Wildfire. But Jeannie's a character I feel like we maybe don't know as well. At home, she's maybe a bit in Jimmy's shadow. In the band, she's a bit in, um, you know, she's she's not the front woman. Right, and right. Uh, what can you tell us about, like, like Jeannie's dreams and what we're going to learn about her this season? Yeah, I think that we're going to learn that there's a little bit more to Jeannie than everybody thought. I think that, you know, uh, especially first season, people get a really big kick out of that really, those sort of familial relationships and like fighting over the telephone and Jeannie being a little bit of a shit to her brother. And like, all that is very fun. Uh, she's she's definitely a firecracker in her own way. But I think this season, we'll see that there's a lot more heart to Jeannie, um, that, 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 that she has a lot more vulnerability than I think most people would expect from sort of a punk rocker girl in the 80s. And I think that that will be fun for people to, to see that despite um, the sort of loud mouth on her that she's got, there's, there's a lot more brimming under the surface and what that might mean for the band. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, and uh, for Gigi, uh, Tammy is maybe the least punk rock person on the show, uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, or she thinks she is until uh, the scene premiere puts her behind the drum kit, and you know she she fills in as a chance to play. Um, I without I've seen ahead without spoiling our viewers. Um, you know, uh, in what ways uh, does that help Tammy learn a few things that experience on stage? I think Tammy finally is like following her heart rather than her brain. I think uh, season one, you see her do a lot of what she's supposed to do and does everything correctly, even afraid to like date her best friend's boyfriend, you know, doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. And I think for the first time, she just does something that feels good and doesn't ask, doesn't question. I mean, she does question it a lot, you'll see. But she she finally just like goes for it, takes a risk. And um, I think that's a, a fun part of her that we get to see and and let her hair down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for that. Um, and so Nick, now for Brian, Nick is a character who, you know, he's he's one of the characters who maybe was struggling with expectations or that plan he made when he was in college and things haven't worked out. I really mm -hmm. thought he wanted to be a lawyer. Like we saw him last season, he cried when he got rejected from law school. Uh, and so I wonder like, like where this ride is taking him, you know, and he, he doesn't really like punk rock. And like, I'm, I'm sometimes I think he's really found his calling as the manager. Sometimes I think like, oh, girls, he's going to like suddenly want to be a lawyer. And like, what's going to happen here? <laughs> can you, can you tease a little bit for us? I mean, he's just going with it. He's just going with the opportunities that have, that are presenting themselves to him. You know, he's, um, he's a hardworking kid. I don't know if he's the brightest, you know, crayon in the box. So, uh, He's just going with 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 what's coming at him, and I think, um, yeah, certainly it presents challenges. Working with family is never easy. Even working working with friends is hard, but working with family is that much harder. So, um, but I think you know he he loves this music scene, and while punk rock is not necessarily the the, the avenue in which he wanted to to originally be in, I think that he's so seduced by the possibilities that are presenting themselves um, that I, you know in a certain way I think it's presenting a much more uh, exciting life than being a lawyer maybe ever could have. Mm -hmm. Okay, and quickly, I'm under a minute. I, yes. um, uh, how much fun was it shooting that scene in the club for any of you? Yeah, uh, so fun. fun. The I mean, best. It was real, we're acting, but we actually got to do that. The smiles on our faces are real. Brian's excitement, everything, it was, it was real. It's not acting, we had a blast. Yeah, we truly got to rock it out on stage. Like there's there's nothing better than that. Oh, yeah. Great. Well, it was super fun to see it. And um, uh, thanks for being with me today. And we look forward to maybe speaking with you again at the end of uh, the season or next year. Thanks. Love to. Thank you. Thank you.